Chicago, home of the steppers, the drillers, the hood niggas, the GDs, the BDs, the Lion Kings, all these niggas out here. And we all know we get busy on the 4th of July, these holiday weekends, they get crazy. We've seen the numbers in the past. You know what I'm saying? It was adding to the story. You know, you was intrigued by these men we called savages, or they wanted to be called savages, whatever. But you know what I mean. We was intrigued. We was listening. We loved the music, how it flowed. But as we've seen, as, you know, time went on, we've been paying attention to other places like Florida, Memphis. They really getting busy themselves. They be doing a lot of things. And now we have seen Chicago. On this 4th of July, they wasn't playing because Bob's Top, famously coined by academics called Broke Top, was shot and was among five people that was shot. Now, if you don't know about Bob's Top, he was around Cheeky for the time. Honestly, go watch the old uh, fucking uh, Warren Chirac channel to give you a little bit of explanation in the beginning. But besides that, um, we've seen him around King Von. You know, they had the old block thing. You know, King Von really believed in him as an artist. Sadly, we already know King Von lost his life, I think, on November 6th of 2020 and the whole thing with Quando Rondo, Lil Tim, that whole little situation which we already covered when we talk about Dirk and Youngboy and why them niggas keep dissing each other but or dissing and blatantly dissing each other but besides that um yeah so that's happening as we've seen with the whole FBG duck situation that they allegedly believe that some of uh King Vaughn's like friends were involved move up and all them allegedly involved you know they got locked up we trying to see what's going to happen to them boss top was not implicated a lot of people say boss top is the reason because of that famous interview where he you know says some shit but hey it was what it is i don't know what happened this is just all alleged we don't know 100 percent for sure but with that being said what we know for sure or what is being reported for sure is that boss top was shot on the 4th of july and we're here to discuss and talk about it now you already know what it is it's K a K show gutter he sleep with a cut up a turn, you know the little nigga wanna turn. So we gonna get into this thing now. Before all that, you already know like, subscribe, help your boy out, help your boy grow. You know what it is, you know I'm the kid, you know I taught my little flares. Man, first little reason get locked up now, your ass doing some bullshit, man. It's getting a little bit too hot out here. Shout out my nigga Black Gotti. Anyways, with that being said, let's talk about this thing. So According to a report from IG page Say Cheese TV, shout out Say Cheese, as well, we're going to dive into the sh what uh, Chicago Scene 88 said. But the Windy City rapper and Old Block rapper, Boss Top, was among five people that were shot on the 4th of July morning in Chicago's Parkway Gardens, most uh, most commonly and famously known as Old Block. The shooting occurred after midnight in the 6500 block of South Martin Luther King Drive, Junior Drive, with all five victims being taken to a local hospital after the brazen attack. The victims include a teenager who was shot in the arm, a 30-year-old man who was shot multiple times, two 19-year-olds who were treated for gunshot wounds to their legs, and a man around 25 was also treated for a gunshot wound to the knee. According to authorities, all five men are in fair condition. Now that's just a little thing from the source.com. We gotta go find the Chicago scene thing. So well, uh, go and lead it. Gotta go find it real quick. Sorry, but I'm taking my little time. Kinda slow. Now this one is from hiphoplately.com. So old block continues to live up to his reputation. Yep, early in the morning, people were shot, they're just saying who was shot, yes, Chicago rapper or Chirac rapper Boss Top was among those people hit with a heel of bullets. And this is the post from Chicago Scene 88. Damn, Boss Top, O Block was one of the people shot in the mass shooting in Parkway Gardens a couple of hours ago. He was shot along with four other men. All five is listed to be in fair condition. And it's just crazy. I think, I don't know where this other article is from, but it basically reiterates what I basically said. So it was 12.20, and yeah, they just breaking down all the people that got shot. So it was around 12.20 a.m. That's what they're saying. So, hey, man, listen, y'all got to be safe out here. You know, listen, I understand y'all rappers and stuff. And, like, see, this is where it comes where people be like, yo, we be glorifying um, the lifestyle of, you know, the rappers and shit. They just telling their story and shit. And like I say, Dirk, you always say, don't ask me why I carry a gun because the niggas be killing the artists. But with that being said, you in Chicago, you know you got enemies. You was on them blocks. You know all that, ooh, you know, all that little ish, right? 
eventually you gotta move out or at least not of chicago at least move to the burbs or something because like this is ridiculous like what what are you doing like again i don't know how much money uh boss top is making from the rap game but like you could at least get to the suburbs you know what i'm saying i'm pretty sure you have enough money to leave the block like literally the hood and go be in the suburbs i don't know if he was visiting people i don't know what was happening he was kicking it with his friends i don't know but like at this point it's ridiculous you know what i'm saying even if he did have pole on him it's ridiculous at this point people want your head especially in chicago niggas know your ad bro and i'm pretty sure you won't have motherfuckers drop your low like let's not act like just because these niggas are from the hood they don't know the city they can't maneuver and be like they see a background like oh i know what that nigga at you know what i'm saying so it's just crazy at this point i hope boss top is okay but like i said with this street nigga shit is like don't get me wrong I don't wish bad upon that nigga, but like if some shit happened that you was in the streets and you did some shit to a nigga or your peoples did some shit to a nigga and they trying to come retaliate, yo, that's how that shit go. It is what it is. It is what it is. You can't really get mad at that shit, you know? And that's how it is. But besides that, bro, honestly, hey man, just watch yourself, nigga. Like I said, King Von believed in you as an artist, man, nigga. Go hard for your mans. And keep dropping your music, keep doing your thing. I'm not saying don't go back to the blog, go show love to your niggas, go have fun. I get it. But, like, at the same time, bro, just be militant, bro. Niggas get caught up. I ain't gonna act like niggas don't get caught up, but be militant when you have fun. Like, at some point, like, you gotta start, like, just... I know niggas, niggas love the block. We love the hood. The hood don't love us, because you can get caught up all the time. I don't think there's one nigga the hood has, like, pr protected. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. We grew up in the projects. We get it. That would never leave us. You know what I'm saying? That would never leave us. And it shouldn't. Should be that same hungry nigga. You know what I'm saying? You don't settle for less. You you know what I'm saying? That, that's cool. I ain't mad at that. But at the same time, you got to understand. And like me as a person, if my mans was really like, believed in me and an artist, I got to go crazy for him. That means I'm not chilling on the block as much as I was before. Hey, I got to go dumb. You know what I'm saying? couple of your partners locked up and again like i don't know if this is street shit a nigga was trying to hit a lick i don't fucking know but you in chicago you was running around on the, in the streets y'all be sending subliminals and dissing niggas in songs so of course motherfucker might be like oh there go who whoever over there and they might try to go do something to you you know what i'm saying so just move militant bro that's i'm, I'm happy he's fine but hey like this just show like bro y'all just gotta move militant on you so Dirk, yo, ain't wrong with that, but like, boss stop, just play. I don't know, move out the hood, move to the suburbs, do what you gotta do. Continue your grind and do your thing, bro. Because at the end of the day, even not for you, at least for your family members, you know what I'm saying, who depend on you. Make sure they're good, they're straight, you know, they could, you could change their position and stuff. Even if you don't want your position to change, you could change their position, you know what I'm saying. You gotta think outside of yourself sometimes. You know, you can't just always be thinking about yourself. You gotta think outside of yourself and what really pet matter to you. you. Gotta ask yourself sometimes, yo. I know a lot of niggas like the glitz and the glam and all that bullshit, but you gotta ask yourself sometimes. You know, nigga, what's your purpose? It don't gotta be like your profession, your career. Just what's your why you here? Like, why you think you're here? What means a lot to you? you gotta ask yourself that sometimes. But hey, that's just my little spiel on this situation, man. Boss stop hope you're good. The other people who got shot, I hope y'all recover well, make a good recovery. Y'all's in good condition, fair condition. So I'm pretty sure y'all be come out of this pretty much unscathed and y'all get back to doing what y'all do. But besides all that, what do you feel about that? Put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. Oh, sorry. Check out the links in the description. I got some other videos for y'all to check out. Y'all miss a couple days. My hands just going all over the place. You hear me? And besides all that, you already know who it is. It's your friendly neighborhood KA signing off for today. The black TJ Day while doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe if you want to hear a little bit more. You hear me? And I'm gone. Shlam Zoom Peace, y'all. I was gang. Aye.